In this video, we're going to see if it's more profitable using a Radeon 7 or using the brand new G15 with the dedicated graphics card. Let's get into it. Using this Asus G15 with the 5900 HX processor and the 6800M graphics card. It's 12 megabytes. Right now I'm doing a little bit of mining and we're going to compare it to the Radeon 7. As you can see, what the price is right now. Four and a quarter a day, 47 hash rate. This is in turbo. If we put it down to performance, it goes down to about 44. And now over here we got the Radeon 7. That is a 5800X ITX setup. getting pretty much eight bucks 87 hash rate I don't have anything going too crazy on here all the settings are pretty reserved I have the power at minus eight as you can see down here it's only pulling 229 watts for this total setup on the wall we're 500 watts right now I could show you my phone I'm using a v-sync smart plug and I mean that's what the monitor is on, charging other stuff. 563 watts, and that is for both computers, both monitors. So I'm only making this video to show you that there is actually some profitability in mining with this thing. You know, every every month if you can make a hundred bucks, just just a little laptop, you could pay it off within a year, and you get to have a sweet little laptop just for doing some editing on the go on vacation you could bring the ITX along with you but you know we gotta do a lot of setup so with this laptop it's lasting me about eight hours or so that's not with heavy editing it's just you know casual surfing and light editing maybe an hour or two of doing that and I'm using a resolve the only downfall if you want to even call it that is with this you can't really do the manual settings like you can on this Radeon software. I guess it's so you don't overheat anything or mess with anything too crazy. But I mean the cooling for it isn't that bad. This laptop ran me 1300 bucks. I got it open box at Best Buy. Maybe somebody bought it, didn't like it. Maybe they bought it, couldn't afford it. These are going for $1699. You can get them on sale for about $1499. I would suggest picking one up. I had the M1 Apple Pro book or whatever it was, it was it left a lot to be desired. Even with the 16 gigs of RAM, I had a lot of failures when I was editing. But this thing, I'm telling you, you could throw it serious stuff at it and resolve, and it just gobbles it up. But we'll get into that in another video. I'm gonna do a little comprehensive review on it with the editing aspect. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. If you dislike it. Press it twice just to show YouTube you absolutely hate it and probably never watch it again.